hey guys it's Daps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial if you're looking to create a payment form on your wordpress website so i got you covered in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to create one literally for free without a soul so if you have a wordpress website and you are trying to sell something and you're not looking to invest money in a paid option or maybe install woocommerce or go through that long route you just want to have a simple form that people can fill and they can make payments to you then i got you covered in this tutorial without further ado let's get started then i got you covered in this tutorial so without further ado i think we should get started already so as you can see on my screen here is a wordpress dashboard with the help of a plugin to get that done and uh, we can come to plugins we can come to add new the plugin we're going to be using here is called Forminator. Once you type Forminator into your search bar here, you would see this plugin here is called Forminator Contact Form, Payment Form, Custom Form, View That. So this plugin currently has 500,000 plus active installations. So that's a very, very good plugin. So we're going to be installing these and also activating this plugin. So right now we have a plugin active. Uh, ideally, there should be a refresh so that I can't see the plugin, but sometimes WordPress can be crazy like that. So I can just come back to dashboard. So that will help refresh our dashboard. And then if you come down here, you see, please, now for Terminator, you can see that you can create forms, posts, quizzes. Uh, you can have some submissions and there are some add-ons that you can also add to this. But I don't want to spend time on all of this right now. What we want to spend time on are forms. So if you come to forms here, apparently here we don't have any forms. So we have two options here, either to create one or to import one. But we are creating one here because we don't have anything to import. So you can either create here or create here. Either way is the same thing. So let's create a form. For the purpose of this example, I think we're just going to stick with blank and then we're going to continue. And I can just give this a name. I can just call this payment form. And then I can create this form. All right. So right now we have a very blank form here for us to start experimenting with. And so you can see now we have the option to insert field. And we also have that option here too as well. So wherever you click is fine. And if you do that, you have quite a number of things here. I think I need to just build a background on the kind of form we want to build. So let's say, for example, I sell web design services. And I want to build a form where people can easily ask for my services and pay for it for example so i can start first with maybe a section where i can just put the title so you can come down here insert this field so i can give this a title i can call this request a quote there's also another option for subtitle it's quite optional you can fill that up if you want to but i'll just leave this as is let's say the next thing i want to do right now is to ask them what type of website do they want to build uh, so let's insert a field again and then let's use the select option for example so let's scroll down and let's insert this for the label i can just ask them choose your project and i can give it a description that's optional tool as well i can leave a placeholder tool as well that's still optional uh, so i can just come down here i can call at uh, this first one e-commerce website let's say you want to build an e-commerce website and then the second one would be blog that's another option the other one might be a business directory uh let's add up one more and just say maybe learning management system super simple and easy right so this is it for my option here i can apply this so that's what i do uh, so the next thing i want to ask them is do they want to uh buy on hosting or they have one so let's still use the select option here too as well uh let's set this uh so the label should be do you need hosting and my option definitely should be a yes or no uh, then yes let's click apply so the next thing should be again i can click this here and duplicate this field and the next question might be do you need a domain name yes or no or you can just say no i have one or yes i do need one whatever it is you want to do i can hit the apply button so that's how to build this form there are a lot of other fields that you can still experiment with uh maybe i should just work also with the text area definitely let's insert this and i can just say 
uh, instead of this text i can say tell me more about your project yeah and i can take away this place order i really think this is not necessary uh in your case you might be for my description here i just said make sure you give me every little details as this will help me give you the best service so that's very optional in your case you may want to tell this person that so this is the details that we want to require them for the services let's say for example we want to collect their personal details it would be stupid for us to ask somebody to give us details about what they need from us and we don't even have details like their name or emails to reach out back to them so let's insert another field and let's say uh, now we want to collect their name and uh, let's insert this and do we want to make this a single or want to make this multiple for multiple we can maybe have a prefix maybe like mister or oh, that's crazy but first name and last name in my opinion here is good enough so let's apply this and the next thing we also want to do is also collect your email account which is very very important so let's set this we can leave this as email address and then we apply and we may also want to collect their phone number that might be very very important for us so we might want to put this and then insert uh, let's say finally as well so we can just leave this as phone but you can do whatever you want to do with this so let's apply this and let's just say finally we want to maybe collect their home address maybe something like that so there's there's quite a number of things we can do here uh so let's say we want to collect their address so we can just work with that here and then we can set this so we have quite a number of options here for address do we just want to work with the apartment suite maybe we don't want to do that we just want to do address uh, let's take out this i want to do city state zip code and country uh, you may select in between whatever is okay for you uh, then we can apply there's a lot of things we can do with all of these elements so you can see, see here there's a place for geolocation which is pro but we're not going to touch that right now there's some settings that we can still do uh, there are also some styling that we can still make and also we can set a visibility condition like display this if somebody feels this and this is fine let's just apply this so that's it for this before we continue right now let's preview to see what these would look like so let's use the preview button so you can see here request a quote so choose your project so we can choose is it an e-commerce blog directory you can choose do you need hosting yes uh, or no uh, do you need your domain name yes or no you can do that then tell us about the project you can see here give me every details as i filled here and the next thing is their name which is their first name and last name email phone number then details street address and then so let's say that we want to have email and phone number on the same line just like we have the first name and the last name uh, that is super easy to do let's close this uh, so let's come down here so this is the email and this is the phone we want the email first we want the phone next so we can just drag that somewhere here to the side so you can see we now have this sharing this 50 50 so if you preview this right now so you can see that we now have email and phone number i think this is cool so let's say again that we want to break this down into a multi-step we don't want all of this uh this cumbersome we just want them to give us this details first and once they give us these details the next thing will be for them to give us their personal details and the last thing will be for them to make payment right so let's do that so let's close this so uh we can come to insert field there is an element here called page breaker so we're going to use this and we're going to insert this so there's a page break here so we're going to drag this to where we want to break the page uh, so let's say we want to break page after they tell us about their details like i said about this so now the name and details now becomes the next page let's still insert another page break since we want to have another one before they make payment so that's it uh, so the last thing now we want uh, them to do when they fill their details is for them to now see an amount to pay and then they can make payment so let's insert this again so for the purpose of this example i'm going to just work with paypal and then we also need to do some calculations which is very important so that we know how much they're supposed to pay let's select this uh, let's select paypal 
and let's also select consent uh, let's see what this will do let's insert this first thing i want them to do after that page break is for them to give us consent and then we can click this for us to see what that looks like i'll change this label from consent to agree to our terms uh, which is good in your case it might be agree to our privacy policy or terms and condition whatever it is you want to do is fine and then you can put the link to your direct terms and conditions here and then you can hit the apply and then the next thing here would be that you want to add some calculations so if you come down here you can see that you can do some calculations unfortunately we can't do that right now because we don't have any token for anything we want to do so let's close this right now and then let's come back to our services because we want to charge them for our services right so now let's come back to choose a project uh so let's open this up so we have four services here that might have different pricing so now let's come to calculations here and let's enable calculation for this uh, so right now you can see for e-commerce website so what is a calculation value uh, let's say e-commerce website would cost hundred dollars let's say a blog will cost eighty dollars let's say a business directory will cost one twenty dollars a learning management system will cost one fifty dollar right this is good and then let's apply this and then also let's come to do you need hosting so let's come to calculations let's enable these two as well for this if they say yes they want hosting so let's say we charge hosting uh if they need hosting we will charge them an additional hundred dollars uh, so if it is no then there's no need for that let's just add zero and then let's apply and also do they need a domain name for example so let's come this let's do calculation and let's enable this if they need a domain name that's fine we charge 20 dollars for a domain if they don't need this definitely we're not charging anything it is zero and then we hit the apply that's everything we need to do so now let's come to our calculations now and then we can change this from calculations let's just call it payable or amount or whatever it is as i want to call it is fine and then we can come to our calculations so our formula now would be that we can come here and add a token choose your project definitely whatever they select there plus then we add another one which is hosting then plus then another one which is this those are the three things that we are selling so we're going to add everything together for us to know the exact amount that we are supposed to charge them so that's the formula for this in your case here you might need to do minus sometimes or do divide depending based on the parameters you set or how you do your business and then we are going to hit the apply button the next thing here is our paypal we need to set up a paypal account here for us to be able to actually receive our payment so let's click this so you can see here we have a prompt it says that you have not connected your paypal account with combinator so you can click here to do that so if you click this let's open this up in a new tab so let's come back here and let's see how to connect our paypal so right here you can see that we have option here for us to connect our stripe or paypal so let's connect to paypal so here we need to enter a sandbox client id and secret or live also and secret so for us to be able to do that we have a link here as well that will direct us where to go so let's open this up in a new tab i think this is super easy right uh, so now let's come back here all right so right now we are in our developer dashboard so you just need to type in your username and password via the link uh, then you should come here uh, but basically you want to make sure that you are using a business paypal account because if you are not using that you will not have access to a live account here as you can see here you only have access to a sandbox account if you are using a personal paypal account but you need both for you to be able to authorize forminator to receive payment on your behalf that's very very important so right now if you have a personal account you to ask you if you want to upgrade it to a business account you can just follow that prompt and that's very very easy so right now we can just come to apps and credential 
Uh, so right now here, you can see that I have a uh, Forminator here as well. Uh, so it's very easy. In your case, you may not have anything here. You can just come to create app here and then you give it a name and you create the app. Is that very easy to do? Give it a name here. A merchant is fine and create the app. So since I have a Forminator app here, I will just want to use this. So let me just copy this and then let's come back here and let me paste that here since this is sandbox. Let's come back here as well. I would copy uh, the secret key. All right, so I'll come back. I'll paste that here, and then let's come back here now. Let's toggle this to a live account. So I already have Formulator here too as well. So I would copy this, and I'll come back here. I'll paste that here, and then we can come back here. I can copy this as well. It's the same thing, super simple and easy to create. So you can come here, create app, give it a name, super easy, right? And then I can paste that here. And then let's connect PayPal. Let's see. So you can see that that is a success and that's fine. So we can then continue here. Uh, so here we might just need to close this up right we would need to refresh this for us to be able to see that paypal now works so what we're going to do right now is just publish this so let's publish this form yeah so this form is ready to go so you can easily copy this short code here and display it anywhere we want to have that form display but let's close this we don't want to copy that right now now let's refresh this page good so now let's open up our paypal so right now so you can see that is gone so now mode of payment is currently a sandbox so you want to leave that for experimental purpose if you are still trying to experiment and if you switch to a live mode then your account is ready to receive real life payment i think that so let's leave it at live for tutorial purpose or let's leave that sandbox <laughs> that's fine uh, so now let's come to variable and then let's select payable and then let's apply so that's everything we need to do to set up a payment form so now let's preview these let's see what this form looks like so right now you can see here e-commerce website so let's select a business directory do i need hosting uh, let's say yes uh, do i need a domain name let's say no tell me about the business So you can see here i have page one page two and then finish so i can just come to uh, this is optional i can just come to next but we can make all of those things we can make them uh, required and then we need them to give us the details here which is fine and then we can come to next uh, so you can see here this is the payable 220 dollars agree to our terms and condition and then they can pay with paypal or they can pay with their debit or credit card isn't this super cool uh, so let's say we want to style this further we don't like how this is displaying here we want to change this thing here and we want to maybe style the button here or maybe we don't even like the way the form generally is displaying here we have some options here for styling so let's close this uh, so if we come down here we'll see a place for pagination here up now so let's click this and then we can change the style so to do that we can come to settings here so we can instead of using step here we can just change this to progress bar that might be what we want to do uh then button text you might want to make it custom but i want to leave that you can experiment more with that so let's preview to see the changes so right now you can see now here we now have a progress bar in terms of percentage uh so it keeps updating as they keep filling the details or going to the next page i think this is beautiful right uh, so let's close this so what we can still do now is to come to appearance here and then we can want to change the design style uh, so this is by default i love this flat option here so if you come down here you should be able to see how this would look here and also there's another option here for bold so you can see this there's another option here for material this is the best that i use and then we can just say none which definitely is not so let's stick to material here and then you can come down here you still have quite a number of things you can do in terms of the size you want to make it custom the width the high you may want to make it automatic based on the container you set from your website that's literally up to you and then you can play around with the colors you can play around with the front and then the padding there's a lot i don't want to do that but i think this is super simple and basic you can experiment with that by yourself 
So once this is done here, um, I just want to still preview. Let's see what the form now looks like. I think this is more beautiful. This is more beautiful than we have before. So if you change around, if you mess around with the colors, you'll be able to switch in between this color here. I just hate the fact that this is blue here. I'm having green here. I may want to have a uniform color all across my form. Uh, so that's super easy. Like I said, I don't want to waste time doing that. There are still some behaviors that you can still mess around with. After submission, what do you want to happen? You might want to have an inline message and that message can just be, thank you for contacting us. You can change the text if you want to change that. Uh, so you can see, you can change the text. You might want to hide the form completely. You may the field the form or you want to redirect them to a certain place. If you have a membership or you are selling stuff on your site, this will be very useful for you. So let's say, for example, you are selling maybe a script. You are selling maybe a design. You are selling something. You can upload it with maybe your Google Drive. And then once they fill the form, they make payment. You can then put the URL to your Google Drive here or to wherever you want to send them to. Maybe a secret place or maybe anywhere you want to send them to. And then you can apply. That's fantastic. And I think this is good, right? So you might want to do that maybe on the same tab or maybe in a new tab uh, with a thank you message or redirect them to a tab and hide the form completely. That's literally up to you. But I will leave this as inline message since I don't have any place to redirect them to and auto close this message after 5 seconds. You may want to say auto close it after 10 seconds and you may want to just literally just uh, leave this, let the uh, thank you message be there perpetually. That's literally up to you, but I'll leave this as 5 seconds and I will apply. We can come back to our field here and finally we might need to just update our form. So I think I missed something here. So let's say you want to make uh, some of the field there required. Uh, for example, so let's come to this. So you can see here, this is not required. So you might just want to come to settings. So you can see here require, you might want to make this required. So once they don't fill this, there might be an error message. This field here is important. Or you may just say, kindly tell us more about your project because this is important. If you don't tell us more about your project, we would not let you go. Once you do that, we are done with our form here. We just want to update this form. That's it. So now let's come back to our forms, right? So we now have our payment form here and it's published and we can see there's never been any submission and that's fine. So for us to be able to embed this into our page or whatever, anywhere you want to embed it, we need that short code like I mentioned earlier and it's super easy to get. Come down here, you can see that you can just copy short code and that short code has been copied successfully. And you have this drop down here for you to see the views of the form and also the submission. Uh, this view definitely is coming from me designing this uh, as so <laughs> nobody has seen this form. And then I can just come to any random page. Uh, let me go to all the pages I have. I have a sample page here. Let me edit this page. Let's say I want to display the form somewhere in between this. Or maybe at the end really will be good. I can just click this here. I can just search for short code. They're using Elementor, you can search for short code there. Whatever page builder have option for a short code or a text, whichever is okay for this, and then you can update this. And that's it. So now let's come to view page. So that's it. So we now have our form here. So this is not looking very, very decent because uh, I didn't style this enough. Definitely it's taking a full screen. You might just want to reduce the size of the container. Uh, and I think that's super easy to do. And I think this is beautiful. So right now, let's say uh, on my website here, e-commerce is selected by default. I can choose in between. I can just do e-commerce. I can say, no, I don't want hosting. Do you mean I don't want hosting? Tell us about the project. You remember this has been set to required let's try and continue and let's see what it will say so you can see tell me more about your project so i will not go if i don't feel this so i can just say i need blah 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 right so this is just for tutorial you can see my need is not even correct but that's fine so i can just go to the next option here which is like now see is now 67 percent which is now to give my name first name phone number street details but thank God this is an option. I didn't set them as optional, so I can just skip this and go to next. And then you can see, yes, I need to agree to terms and condition. And then my PB is $100 for my PayPal. And then I can check out 
I believe this is super simple and easy for you to do so you can experiment with this, follow my tutorial step by step and replicate this same thing on your WordPress website. If you find this video super useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues whatsoever, let me know in the comment section. I'll look out for them. And that's my time for this tutorial. I'll see you in another one. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on those tutorials. And until then, have a nice time.